coming up, how to optimize your pages in Kartra for mobile and for desktop. Hey guys, Simon Crack from Dead Call Apps, and today I'm going to shoot a quick video to show you how you can easily set up your pages in Kartra so they are optimized for desktop and for mobile. So let's get into it. Right, so let's create a new page. Let's go for a long sales page and we'll pick. Or maybe we'll go for something different. Right, let's go for this particular one. I'll just name it test in a particular category. So it's quite simple um, to do, but it's another one of those features which um, if you didn't know, then you might not know how to do it. So, um, and it's not, it's also not something that you always have to do. It's something that you need to like uh, kind of test first. So let's have a look. So this is my dummy page. So say you've created your page. First thing you'd usually do is go to preview it. So we'll open preview and see how it looks. Okay, so this is obviously on a desktop. Um, you can also use the previews up here. Um, so you can see like, it's gonna look like on a desktop. This is what roughly looks like on a da uh, tablet. And this is what looks like on a mobile. Right, so what I find sometimes is you'll create pa the page and then when you go and test it actually on a device, say on an iPhone or another smartphone, it doesn't look exactly like it does on the mobile preview. I mean, it's close, but quite often it's not exact. So it's always helpful to preview it on a phone to see how it's going to look. Um, and, you know, sometimes um, you might create a page, it might look fine on a mobile, but other times it's, it, the text might be quite small. So to optimize it, say you've, this, I've designed this page, right, and I'm happy with it. What you want to do is, right, for, it's fine for desktop, but say you're not happy how this is looking on mobile, for instance. I mean, it, to be fair, it looks all right, but let's say that the, you're wanting to bump up the size of the fonts, right? Um, but you want to keep your desktop version the same. What you want to do is this little cog, you can adjust some settings here. So you want to click on the little cog and you've got this whole page is set up as one section, right? So that's quite handy because what we're going to go in and do is we're going to edit the little pencil, click on edit, right? And go to hide, okay? And then you've got obviously desktop here, uh, tablet and mobile. So this is the desktop page. So we'll click off the tablet and we'll click off the mobile, right? So this is just the desktop one. Um, we've got some other options here, hide or show based on their behavior, which is quite handy. Um, you know, if someone's signed up for something, you can show someone, um, show or hide depending on what tags you've given them, but we'll leave this off for now. So I'll apply that to this desktop version, right? And then when you go over to say mobile, mobile and tablet. So obviously on tablet and mobile, um, it's hidden. So what you want to do is then go back to your desktop one and clone it. Okay, so you've got, you've doubled it up. So then this top one we'll keep as the desktop version and then we'll use the cloned version for mobile and tablet. Okay, so we'll go back in and edit this again and we'll come up to hide. And for this particular one, we'll click off for um, desktop and we'll click on for tablet and we'll click on for uh, mobile uh, and we'll apply that. So now 
that should have hidden. There we go, preview. So we've just got the page as we had it. And then tablet and mobile will have the duplicate. So now that means that we can go in and for instance, we'll bump up this text. And you know, you can even change the fonts, um, the content, right? And it will actually leave the desktop version how it is, and it will just be kept for tablet and for mobile. So you can add some extra things in. So basically, you're du you're duplicating the content and you're hiding um, uh, one for say desktop and then hiding one for tablet and mobile so that you can then go in and you can bump up all this text because this is what I often find is that text is too small on mobiles. So it's handy to then be able to go in, bump up the size of it for mobile without making it huge and large for desktop, right? So again, if there's something that, for instance, this foot bar, if that um, is looking okay, on your mobile and tablet, then you can keep that and just keep that showing on all of them. Hitting the pencil, if you hide, that's obviously showing on all of them, so that's fine. And it is literally just one version. I've got the desktop and I've turned off tablet and the mobile and then for tablet when I click on this this will just show the tablet mobile version obviously you could create three different versions if you wanted to if you really wanted to um, you know optimize it for desktop tablet and mobile you could have three separate versions that you duplicate and you hide one for um, you know desktop and you sh um, show one for desktop show one for tablet show one for mobile I found that tablet and mobile um, I usually just do two two versions really um, because the tablet and mobile seem to work quite well together. So yeah, so that's about it. So um, that's just a quick video to show you how to optimize a page in Kartra to, sh to be nice and clear on mobile and tablet and desktop. Um, so I hope you found this uh, video helpful. Um, please like and subscribe for more tutorials. Also, if you sign up, you have not a user of Kartra just yet and you want to sign up, um, you can sign up with my link below. I think they're offering a $1 trial for like two weeks. So if you sign up um, under my link, I will immediately send you two of my best performing funnels um, and I'll send them straight into your Kartra account so that you can then just take them and adjust them for your own needs. I've got a book funnel and a free plus shipping funnel. And if I create any other funnels, you can have those as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.